City manager Edward Augustus receives his highest evaluation in the three and a half years he's been on the job. Tuesday night, most of the city council commended the city manager's dedication to the city, but some were more critical of his leadership. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with more on how the councillors weighed in. Brittany. Olivia, nine of the 11 counselors gave Augustus exceeding expectation marks, but two says he needs improvement. Worcester City Councilors held their annual review Tuesday night for the city manager. Annette Augustus received his best evaluation since being appointed in 2014. It makes me feel great this year and worried for next year. <laughs> well, I was very appreciative of the feedback I got from the city council. Seven of the 11 councillors rated Augustus as exceeding all expectations, including District 4 councillor Sarai Rivera. This is a really exciting time to be in Worcester. I definitely give a lot of credit to the city manager because he's really, for me as a district council, it's really important that the residents in my community feel that they can come and have their voices heard. Two councillors were more critical of the manager's leadership, city councillors at large Constantina Lukes and Michael Gaffney. I don't look at a couple, you know, buildings that are going up and start saying everything is great. Taxes have gone up 11% in the four years the city manager has been uh, running the city. 11% is unsustainable. I'd probably give him a meets expectation. The city manager says the critique from counselors was consistent with what they say during regular meetings. And counselors say the annual evaluation is important to highlight accomplishments and areas of concern. Our investment in our youth, we've been able to decrease violence and really enhance our public safety. There's just so much to talk about. $2.9 billion in growth in nonprofit, uh, non-taxable property. Uh, 104% is unsustainable. Augustus says his next steps are going over the written feedback from the counselors to see how he and the city can continue to make progress. There are particular projects sometimes in their districts that uh, they want to see progress on. Um, I think a number of them talked about how do we continue to market the city of Worcester because we do have a great story to tell, but how do we get more people to know about it? And so we'll sit down and we'll look at all those comments. Now, Gaffney didn't specifically rate the city manager because it isn't required, but says he'd be reluctant to say he's meeting expectations. Olivia. All right.